day of school. Wait, it's Monday. Let's check out that new episode of Mudita Mondays. I've heard it's pretty fire. today let me remind you what the show is all about and if you haven't seen our first episode with Teeb go check it out before watching this video. Mudita Mondays is all about celebrating the success of others. Our show is a platform to promote you guys the viewers. Now let's talk about our guest. Today we will be talking to Alexis Rosinski. She's a senior here at Mission Prep and she's also an award-winning director and actress. Let's see some clips of her in action. Are you nuts? Don't call my mother nuts! Mr. Bus Driver, you call my mom nuts one more time and you're going to be very sorry. What? I'll tell my father and he's not going to like it. It was just random. Nothing is random. Everything is random. Where are you going? Nowhere. Did you just slap me? I'm so sorry. That really hurt. That was some epic acting. She really forced Tia slap that dude. Now let's go see her in the interview. Tell us about kind of like uh, your background in film and like kind of what's inspired you to, you know, make it make it such a big part of your life. My mother is an actor and director, and my father was a violinist for the film industry. So I kind of grew up in like this film industry type of family. However, um, we moved from Los Angeles to Aurora Grande to kind of get away from the film industry. And by then my sister and I had both developed this deep love for theater. In terms of what has inspired us over the years, New, there's numerous elements to it. We love watching movies. We love the Coen brothers, and that's kind of who we aspire to be, uh, like Rosinski sisters. Okay, so you've been doing this since you were quite young, I see. Um, yeah, I've been um, acting like on the stage since I was about five, and then professionally in the film industry since I've been seven years old. So you must have been in some quite interesting uh places what where's the most interesting place you filmed at you think well most recently my sister was shooting this short film in um azerbaijan and so i wasn't really a part of the project but i was able to shoot some behind the scenes stuff there and that was really fascinating my father is from russia so um that was like the closest we were able to get to there we got to see barcelona and georgia London and Baku and the mountains of Guba in Azerbaijan. So I think that was definitely one of the most fascinating places to shoot at. And also India. So, so you've got plenty of projects, but which would you say that you've enjoyed the most making? About a year ago, I filmed a short film, which was directed by Julie Pacino. That's the one where I'm, I'm slapping the guy in that shot. And that was really fun. Um, I really enjoyed it because we had a lot of rehearsals and it was a lot in terms of like driving back and forth to um, Agora Hills in Los Angeles area. That was like one of the most interesting and um, genuinely fun places to shoot. You've had several wins, both as a actor and a director. What was your most, most special win for you? I think as a, as a director for my first short film, Fairy. And I say that because 
it, it was such a whole new process. It was really daunting. So being able to accept an award at the um, Hollywood Real Independent Film Festival on behalf of the entire team was it was really amazing. So our last question is about uh, Mudita. How do you see this in your life, if uh, if you do see it at all? This industry is one of the most unreliable, um, competitive fields I, I know of. Just based off of my experience, it's really hard to, um, you know, let something go. So in terms of Mudita, Every time my sister is recognized for her work, I feel like this overwhelming sense of pride. Just every time she's recognized for something or achieves something, I guess that would relate to Mudita because I'm just, I'm so proud of her. So we just have one last question for you. Um, do you have any little nuggets of wisdom for the people watching this video to get through these hard times? Use this time to do the things that you love. This definitely is uncomfortable and stressful and I wish it's not happening, but it's also a really good time to self-reflect and recognize what do you really want to do? And if you have a goal in mind, just do it. Try to get something done because, you know, once this is over, I bet that a lot of us are going to be feeling this, um, you know, this longing for this time when we have, you know, so much energy. You, you have all of this free time and you have something that you want to do, something you want to create. Just try to do it. Try to do what you can right now because this will be over very soon and you won't get this time back. That was an epic interview. Alexis had some really cool things today and I hope you learned something new about a classmate. If you think you or a classmate should be featured on Moody to Mondays, send a direct message on Instagram to MCP Activities. And I'll see you next time. I'm your host, Pete. See you guys. food reviewer yeah today we're gonna be looking at some yellow cling sliced peaches that is heavy syrup like quite fine if i do say so myself i am i am famished how about yourself did we bring a opener or are you just gonna yeah we're gonna i think we're gonna dig into it oh, all right hey. i'm so ready